Welcome to CompoSet Products LLC and today's demonstration of building an RV style sandwich construction composite wall panel. Here are the main parts of the wall that we've prepared for today's demonstration. We have the Phylon or fiberglass siding, shiny on one side and bondable on the second. Here we have the framing using wood strips that have been nailed together and styrofoam insulation cut to fit. And here is the bonding layer between the pylon and the framing, a piece of plywood. We'll also have a piece of plywood on the inside. We begin by preparing the surface and washing the bonded side of the pylon using an automotive grade prep solvent. After a thorough cleaning, we begin sanding the surface lightly with 220 grit sandpaper. After sanding, we wipe it down again with the prep solvent. After we've prepared the side to be bonded, we flip the panel over and tape off the edges carefully and seal it to the existing plastic barrier film that is on the finished side. The prepared pylon is then placed into a fixture we've set on another table with the bonded side up. We then move on to preparing the plywood by sanding it with 220 grit sandpaper, followed by a tack rag to remove any dust and debris left in the pores of the wood. The tack rag is followed up with compressed air on both sides of the prepared plywood. Preparation of the styrofoam and framing consists of a gentle pass with compressed air. The Composet SLV bonding resin is prepared per the instructions. The mixed resin is dispensed onto the plywood by ribboning it out in a crisscross pattern, estimating the amount of usage based on the size of the panel. The resin is flattened onto the surface using a flat edge of a steel trowel or a squeegee. The kit includes a special adhesive roller, which can also be used. The objective is to create a consistent film thickness across the entire pan. Typically, after using the roller, another pass with the flat edge of the steel trowel is required. The end objective is to create a smooth, consistent film thickness. We then take the notched edge of the special trowel and draw it across the panel to further gauge the film thickness. The panel is now ready to be bonded to the pylon. We bring the plywood into the other room where the pylon is fixtured and we flip the resin coated plywood onto the pylon skin. Then we take a roller and apply pressure to evenly compress the two surfaces together and spread the adhesive evenly. The next step is to mix the Composet Compo Bond epoxy resin, a much thicker viscosity material. The Compo Bond is dispensed onto the plywood surface, much like the SLV. Then it is spread out and hit with the flat edge of the steel trowel to begin to build an even consistency. A roller can be used after this, though it's a little stickier, but the roller will help spread the adhesive and begin to build that even film. You follow up the roller with the steel notched trowel to create the flat profile. Then we can take the framing and the styrofoam and set it onto the plywood. Once we have it positioned and fixtured over the plywood, we use the roller to press the framing and foam onto the plywood and phylon sandwich. Next, we begin by applying another coating of combo bond adhesive to the styrofoam and framing. This material moves like peanut butter and you can just spread it very gently with a trowel. The flat edge of the steel trowel works well to begin to make a very flat and even consistency. After you use the steel trowel and the flat edge, we take the notch trowel and begin the process of creating the uh, gauged profile of the adhesive. Then we're ready to install the last sheet of plywood that'll be the interior paneling uh, over top of the framing and the styrofoam. 
Once we have it positioned, we use the roller to spread the adhesive and to apply pressure and make sure all surfaces uh, are bonded together. Now we're ready to press these together. We set a piece of plastic over top of the assembly, followed by a three quarter inch piece of flat plywood that's topped with four strips of two by two wood. On top of the, the wood, we set four large cinder blocks and that applies adequate pressure to hold the panels together while they cure. This is the finished product. Very rigid, very solid, insulated, and you can make these in any size you'd like. Obviously, the bigger they get, the harder it is to do. Thank you for watching and visit us at our websites, www.dlamrepair.com and www.rvroofandwall.com. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day.